Hello, this is Rod Martin. In this video, we will be looking at how global warming made civilization possible. Civilization was not merely some freak accident, and it wasn't something that was bound to happen either. The conditions needed to be just right for civilization to become an idea. To understand this more fully, we need to go back more than 12,000 years and to explore what conditions were like during the last glacial period of the current Ice Age. Ice Age glacial periods are brutal. Any glacial period of the current Ice Age included tropical zones, which have remained virtually at the same temperature, but those tropics were much more violent, with more frequent hurricanes or typhoons. Tornadoes were likely more common, too. The reason is simple. Wind is caused by temperature differences. During a glacial period, polar cold is moved closer to equatorial heat, greatly increasing the temperature gradient. The result? More and stronger storms. Deserts were far larger, and there were more of them. Again, the reason is quite simple. Rain doesn't merely happen by magic. If there is no warmth, land will never get any water. Rain happens because of water vapor generated by evaporation. And when the oceans are cooler, there is less evaporation. When a glacial period makes more of the oceans into ice water, there is very little evaporation and far less rain. During a glacial period, temperate zones are much smaller and scarce, squeezed between giant desert regions and monstrous regions of polar ice. 12,000 years ago, after thousands of years of global warming, enough ice had been melted for rain to become more common. The oceans were warming up. Rivers flowed more regularly. Humans crowded around those bodies of fresh water, and agriculture was born. With agriculture, surplus food could be grown. Not everyone needed to be involved in food production. Fire, chemistry, and metallurgy were investigated. Stone tools gave way to bronze and later iron. These discoveries and innovations would never have happened without agriculture. And agriculture would never have happened without the massive global warming which melted most of the North American and European ice. We have to ask ourselves, why would anyone lie about global warming? What's their purpose? What are they after? Warming does not produce more and stronger storms. That was a lie. Warming does not create more droughts and deserts. That's also a lie. We saw the reverse is true with the global warming which made civilization possible. We also got a taste of global cooling during the Little Ice Age and during the 1816 Year Without Summer. We know that cooling causes massive crop failures and strong storms, like the Great Storm of 1703 in England, and the Killer Storm which sank the Spanish Armada near England in 1588. With global warming, we're not talking about burning anything. This is no fever. We're talking about melting ice and making more of the planet livable. Climate has changed for more than four billion years. Nothing can stop that. All change will create problems. And if you think about it, you'll see that cooling creates far more problems than warming. If warming could make civilization possible, could cooling make it impossible?